Forget the graphics, let's just stare at the beauty that is the console itself. The video computer system is 20 cartridges with 1300 game variations you play on your own TV set. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best looking video game consoles. You know what? You're onto something. For this list, we're looking at what we consider to be the most beautiful video game consoles of all time. By this, we do not mean the graphics, but the physical console itself. These can be any kind of video game console, whether they're old, new, handheld, or stationary. Number 10, PlayStation Portable. I can't stand hearing these kids talking about some weak app on the phone. Games, phone. The PSP was Sony's attempt at grabbing some of the handheld video game market, directly competing with the Nintendo DS during the seventh generation. The Nintendo DS was a great system as well, but it just, for me, it wasn't as good as the PSP. While we can obviously debate which one was better, we can say for certain that the PSP is an elegant piece of hardware. The black and white color scheme gave the console a refined, mature appearance, and the shiny exterior helped to distinguish it as a premium device. Ah, like that answer. The screen is large and colorful, and the buttons perfectly located at the sides of the console. It did receive a few updates over the years, but it remained largely the same. Unless you count the PSP Go, and honestly, who does? Sony really knows how to make buttons, so you gotta give them credit for that. While the PS Vita was also a beaut, it was basically also just a copy of the original. And there's something about the PSP which just screamed fancy. Up, up down. Oh, left, left, square, square, R1 twice, triangle, triangle, up, up, over, over. Ooh, there's so many. Number nine. Xbox One S. Sleeker, slimmer, sharper. So says Microsoft, and they're certainly not wrong. Serving as the successor to the black and bulky Xbox One, the Xbox One S is a slick and shiny new console. Microsoft dropped the black of the Xbox One and replaced it with white, harkening back to the Xbox 360, and we have to say it looks pretty darn nice. But you can see the difference in yeah. size is pretty is pretty yeah. amazing. Contrasting with the white of the console are the black lines and the Xbox symbol, nicely rounding out the pleasing new package. The smaller size is also perfect for home theater setups, as it doesn't take up nearly as much room. It's an improvement over the Xbox One, and probably Microsoft's best looking console to date. Number eight, Atari 2600, wood veneer version. Atari's air speed battle. It comes with 27 games, but that's just for starters. Sure, it may be old and retro looking as hell, but this thing just oozes glass, and you really can't help but love it. It's a massive, gigantic block of wood for a console, and it mostly consists of grates. You're out, Rose. However, it's the retro toggles and faux wood veneer that really draws the eye. Complete with four primitive knobs at the top and wood paneling covering the front, the Atari 2600 would be right at home in a tackily colored 1970s living room. But that's why we also love it. Still remain in the collection of video gamers today who grew up in the 1970s and 80s and still cherish their Atari 2600. Complete with its joystick controller with only one button. There's simply no other console like the Atari 2600. Like a classic car, she's old and she may be a bit dusty, but she's still a beaut. Sorry, only our demonstrators left. Mine! No, George. Mine. Number seven, the Wii. We would like to play. When the Wii was released in the winter of 2006, it made headlines around the world for its innovation, its uniqueness, and its penchant for selling out of stores. While that's great and all, we have to give credit to Nintendo's design team. While Nintendo had made some childish looking consoles in the past, the Wii was a serious, beautiful looking console. Its sharp edges and dynamic white made it look fresh and modern. The gray stand it sits on also complements the console well, giving it the ability to stand, mimicking the more mature consoles of the time. This was a new, serious looking Nintendo, which was right at home with the other consoles of the 7th gen. Number six, PlayStation 4. Sony gave us a whopper of a console for its eighth generation contribution with a mature, intimidating console that can fit nicely in any serious home theater setup. There we go, we got a little glossy and we got a little matte, looks very sharp. The sharp, angular edges lend the PS4 its slim appearance, while its matte bottom and glossy top provide a brilliant contrast, giving the console a crisp and modern look something that's different and unconventional. The pièce de résistance has to be the deep, 
dark blue line going straight down the middle, which simply looks magnificent. While the 8th gen gave us some beautiful consoles, we believe that Sony came out on top with the impressive PlayStation 4. Thank you for being uncompromising in the pursuit of a revolutionary new console. Number 5. Nintendo GameCube Nintendo GameCube at launch, Nintendo was criticized for taking their 6th generation hardware consoles look a little too deep into the kid-friendly territory. That was thanks to choosing purple as its prime color. It also had a lunchbox type handle. That being said, the console's name was certainly fitting to the look, and while the original color choice has been sneered at, the system recaptured the attention of more mature gamers with its sleek black and silver versions. Regardless of the color, the console is still great looking as it showcases a more refined look, which gamers continue to enjoy. The console itself was adorable and it had great power on the inside. It wasn't the most powerful thing ever, but it looked good and developers knew what they were doing with it. Number 4. Super Nintendo Entertainment System NTSC version. While Nintendo may have dropped off the map in recent years, there's no denying that their consoles are one of a kind. Enter this beauty, which was released in the summer of 1991 to critical acclaim. A day to go down in history, at least in, in my life history. The grey and purple color arrangement makes for a nice and unpredictable blend, and this console slimmed down the bulky appearance of the original NES to give the SNES a more compact design. Now you're playing with power, super power. The purple sliders on each side of the console served like a pair of eyes, instantly catching and demanding your attention. It was a step up from the original, and a truly well-formed console. With over 50 million units sold worldwide, if you include Super Famicom, which is you know, the Japanese version of the system, which was released a year earlier in 1990. Number 3. The Sega Dreamcast Shut up, Quadrupet! Serving as the first console of the 6th generation, preceding the PS2, GameCube, and Xbox, the Dreamcast hit the ground running and gave gamers a glimpse of what the 6th gen would have in store. It was way ahead of its time. In fact, the Sega Dreamcast is one of the greatest video game consoles ever created. While it looked similar to the PlayStation, with its color configuration and pop-up disc cover, the sharp edges of the console and the unique controller give it an edge. And good news for collectors today, the Sega Dreamcast is one of the most undervalued game consoles ever. Complete with the signature red spiral in the middle of the device, the Sega Dreamcast was a beautiful console that ushered in the new millennium with pizzazz. This truly was an underrated gem. It's inviting you to buy one and play some awesome video games. Number 2. Game Boy Advance SP New Game Boy Advance SP Featuring a luminous screen so you can even play in the dark. Released in North America in March of 2003, the Game Boy Advance SP was a significant improvement on its predecessor and paved the way for handheld gaming in the future. Complete with a myriad of optional colors, the SP borrowed the clamshell design of the Game & Watch and perfected it, allowing for easier handling during travel and screen protection from scratches and dust. The Game Boy Advance screen is very nice, high quality, and it's a similar size to the screen found on the Nintendo DS. With a beautiful 2.9-inch screen on top and nicely laid out controls at the bottom, the SP's design was innovative, influential, and an undeniably sexy little beast. <laughs> Before we admire our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. PlayStation 2 While we were on the topic of innovation, there's no denying the impact that the PS2's design had on the home console market. Wow. Look at that. While most consoles at the time were square, the PS2 was more elongated and had the ability to both sit and stand, something that was carried over to the equally gorgeous PS2 Slim. This device introduced the jet black that Sony would adhere to from here on out, and the blue PS2 etched into the console complemented that black perfectly. The console's design was innovative, and its influence is still seen and felt over 15 years later in our modern devices. See? It says it right there. The PlayStation 2 is rad. Do you agree with our list? What 
do you think is the best looking console? For more gorgeous top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Yeah.